I found Hecronbone. You know, does that mean we just talked about Poshul, the dog, uh, you know, loving food or whatever? I wonder if that means if I give her a Hecron bone, I could persuade her to be in my party. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know if I can do that before, like, I've done any sort of quest at all, or if I have to wait till I'm actually a bona fide journeyman of fantasy adventure. I know this seems slow. I'm trying to hit up every dialogue point here. I don't want to skip anything, you know, for those that, that love that kind of stuff. Oh, we talked about this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, first world problems, man. Who's this? Carrying around the sack. Yo, Rowany! Everyone calls me. All the young kids call me Rowany. <laughs> I heard you totally blew off Leanna this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. Lena, I guess not Leanna. Wow. Could you, like, break her in a little, you know? Like, make her act a little more lady. Like, she, she wants me to be an asshole to her sister. This is a messed up village. I don't know what's going on here. Hello there, Rowan. Where it has it, the Komodo dragon skills are quite popular among the youngins these days. So you're collecting them too, huh? What, to make a silly, silly little necklace? I'd never do that. No way. Which one? Ah, it's such a conundrum. Which one makes me an asshole? I'm gonna go for the safe one. <laughs> you truly are a man of the sea. They don't call me the Komodo dragon expert for nothing. Let me give you some pointers. This is truly top secret. My super duper secret number one. Rock and roll to trap the sucker. What does that mean? My super duper secret number two. Use the lay of the land and make a surprise attack. Super duper secret number three. There's always one that likes to play tag. Run with all your might. Beware. Those dragons are mighty cautious and run at high speeds. You must face them with your wits, courage, and tenacity. This doesn't make any sense out of context. I don't know what he's talking about. Go for the gold and bring forth a brighter tomorrow. I imagine that's what the uh, North Korean government told the soccer players uh, in the last Olympics before they shut off the television signal and when they lost really bad. Baby Komodo. That is pretty cute, I gotta admit. Ah, see? The little boy was right to be afraid. Lolo is making a move on... I guess this is Kiki, then? I'm not being mean. Yeah, it doesn't say her name. I guess that's Kiki. Well, Kiki... Who should I help? What if Lolo is cooler than that kid that I talked to? Yeah, your kid goes and plays with dragons. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my life, my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. 
That's very profound of you. It's been about ten years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you could say everything here represents ten years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhals, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job, and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all. But lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki. Ah, oh, so that is Kiki. But how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path ten years ago. Well, hold on. So when he looks at his daughter, he wishes he could have done something differently? Like, what kind of a horrible father is this? be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. <laughs> I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about the other you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. Yeah, you're telling me. You're going super hyper-analytical. Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. That's nice to know. Shark tooth. Talk more. <laughs> I just get this feeling there's another me living another life. You know... I recall a little bit about this game. Oh, oh, come on. If for any reason you happen to meet him, I want you to give him that amulet and tell him it's from the other you. That is... Uh, I feel like I'm being beaten over the head with foreshadowing here. Like They really hand it to you. Like, if, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're maybe, I don't know, like a alternate reality or something I'm just saying if that ever happens and there's another me that is in some completely different uh, deterministic field of not being a fisherman just give him this like he actually wants me to give him this thing so we obviously know that he believes that that's gonna be the case so now if I don't end up in an alternate reality I'm gonna be very disappointed because that's what everyone expects Oh, look at how pleasant this game is. I mean, just... Yeah, I know the graphics are great and modern games and the colors and that, but just look at the... Out of the simplicity that, that is this game, look at the, the colors and the brightness and all the effects they've got going here. I mean, it's very, uh, very relaxing. I like it. Maybe it's just my own nostalgia. I don't know. I like that it... Because the, the character sprites are so basic, it, it makes me kind of fill in the blanks with my mind here. You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussycat, do you remember? You were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. Yeah, being attacked by a panther demon would do that. Oh, every time I talk to the cat, I get this speech from this daughtery old lady. So this is Poshul's house. I didn't know that. <sighs> Man, look at the... Yeah, I mean, I know I've said this. Look at the colors here. Is this just not the most relaxing thing ever? Oh, it's you, Rowan. Beautiful day, huh? Caught me dozing off there. By the way, Rowan, do you like the sea? <laughs> no, I just live on it. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Rowan, don't take the sea too lightly. 
usually you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret the sea whispers. Um, yeah, sure. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. <laughs> That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. Okay, man. I can't shake the fact that you sort of look like a woman with a mustache. Like, you look like you're wearing sort of like a woman's blouse. Who have we here? It's Lena. We both got some pretty red hair. I'm kind of worried we might be uh, related. I gotta hand it to them programming this. I mean, this is a very... Just a well-done landscape here. <laughs> Remember when we were like that? Yeah, that, that we must be, what, 15? So that had to have been about uh, five years ago? She acts like she's like an old lady now. <laughs> the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. I have the option to go, uh, nah, fuck off. I, I don't want to get the scales. This is a very materialistic village. And I have to, I assume I have to kill these lizards to actually get the scales. I, I, I imagine I can't just find them in like a den or something. Okay, so there's a uh, there's a whole battle sequence where they teach you how to fight in here, if I remember correctly, with uh, Radius. I'm going to go ahead and skip that, just because, uh, you know, you probably don't want to sit around for that. So, next video, we're going to go um, poach ourselves some cute little Komodo pups, so we can get some um, skins, some scales, from previously alive and cute dragons to uh, hand to some very materialistic people. So, fun, fun. I can't wait.